Blessings, 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 and greetings in the precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ. Guess what day it is? Can you believe it? Guess what? It's Wednesday night again, and we are here giving God thanks with you on tonight. Amen. I'm Pastor Justin S. Lucas, and we're so blessed to just be able to come before you once again. Hallelujah. Be able to come to you uh, uh, in another month. We're here in the month of July. Hallelujah. And another time that we've just ready to give God some thanks with you guys on tonight. Bit of a rush making it in on tonight, but you know what? We said we're going to remain faithful. We're going to do all that we can do. Hallelujah. To make it happen for you. Hallelujah. We thank God for you guys on tonight uh, just being with us and joining us. I see people are coming on in already. Brother Howard is in the house with us on tonight. Sister Keita, God bless you. Amen. We thank God for you uh, being with us. First Lady is here along with Sister Trudy. Hallelujah. All the way there in Texas. Yeah, 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 yeah. We give God praise for you on tonight. Michelle and Mother Francis, I need some energy over here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray my strength on tonight. Sister Boo is always watching. We thank God for you guys. Amen. Being with us on tonight and just tuning in, tuning in. Hallelujah. It's another day that the Lord, he has indeed kept us. Uh, he's kept us from all evil. Hallelujah. As long as we keep our minds stayed on him. We thank God on tonight, amen, just for being uh, uh, alive, literally. I mean alive, literally. So much going on in the land, so much taking place, amen. And we understand that if it had not been for God, there is absolutely no way we could make it. There is absolutely no way that we could take it. We wouldn't be able to stand without him. That's an old song that says, oh, without him. I am nothing. Oh, without him, I would fail. I'd be I'd be lost like a ship without a sail. Amen. I thank God for everybody. Amen. We just give God praise for the people that are coming on in. Bishop Dillard, God bless you, sir. Amen for being with us. Hopefully we can see you guys coming up pretty soon, uh, trying to make some plans here. But we're going to get through this Bible study on tonight. We just thank God. As you see on the screen, we want you guys to like and share this broadcast on tonight. You don't know how much of a blessing you could be to somebody, amen, and who you could reach just by one punch, one push of your thumb, amen. You could be a blessing to somebody. Indeed, I believe you can change somebody's life, amen, by just a simple share. But listen, on tonight, we're going to sing a good song. We're going to get you going. You know what? I wanted to sing something old school, and I need to try to find it. I, I got to try to find it here. Amen. I wanted to sing an old song. I, I may have to go up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was trying to find it, but I, I don't think I could find it. Ah, uh, Let's go with this one right here. Let's go with this one right here. We thank God on tonight. I heard the kids singing this on today, and I said, you know what? I think I'm going to go with that on tonight. I think I'm going to go with it on tonight. Come on, I need you to put those hands together right there in your house. Come on. Put those hands together right there in your house. Yeah, yeah, come on, put them together. If you believe it tonight, I need you to just get in the comment section and declare that we're blessed. Josiah, come here real quick. I need you to declare that we're blessed. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, listen. Everybody say bless, bless, say bless, bless, say bless, bless, yeah, yeah, yeah. Said I'm blessed and you're, you're blessed. I said everybody's blessed. Whoa, say it like this. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. Turn that. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Everybody say blessed. Blessed. Say blessed. Say blessed. Say, blessed. say everybody's blessed. How many of you believe it tonight? Well, I said I'm I'm blessed, and you're, you're blessed. I know that everybody's blessed. Hallelujah. Verse 1 says, since thou hast walked uprightly, there's a light in the dark land. 
thou hast placed in thine heart all the Lord's command. He set thee up of nations and cast thine enemies away. For I the devil is defeated, so let me hear you say, we're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Let me hear you say blessed. Yeah, yeah. We know that God, amen, is a mighty good God. And that he's worthy to be praised. Come on, if somebody can give this testimony tonight and say if it had not been, for the Lord who was on my side. I don't know where I'd be, but since he is, guess what? I'm blessed. Hey, hey, I'm blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm blessed when I come and when I go, yeah. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must cease. Right now the devil is defeated. We are blessed. We are blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must cease, for the devil is defeated. We are blessed. If you know it tonight, I need you to put them hands together. I said I need you to put them hands together. I'm alive and I'm blessed. I might be tired, but I'm blessed. I might be weary, but I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Can we do a little remix tonight? Come on. I need y'all to get with me right here and say this right here. Say it. Late in the midnight hour, God's going to turn it around. It's going to work in our favor. Late in the midnight hour, God's going to turn it around and around and around and around. Telling you late. Yeah, God's gonna, gonna turn it around. It's gonna work in my favor. Yeah, I'm telling you late. Late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn it around and 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 around. Every time I turn around. Listen, I said every time I turn around, every time I turn around, every time I turn around, listen here, this morning, when I got out my bed, brand new mercy, hey, when I got out my bed, I saw brand new mercy, oh, I had breath in my body, hey, breath in my body, oh, and around. I need somebody to say it like this right here. Come on, say it like this. Blessed by the best. Hey, I'm blessed by the best. I'm blessed by the best. I'm blessed by the best. Yeah, I'm blessed by the best. Yeah, I'm blessed by the best. Yeah, blessed by the best. Hey, blessed by the best. Yeah, yeah, I believe it tonight. I said, I believe it tonight that God's going to turn it around. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. I need somebody to give God a hand clap of praise on tonight. If you realize that we're blessed by the best. I said that we're blessed by the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you believe it on tonight, I need you to just say it. Come on, come on. Jump in that comment section and say, I'm blessed by the best. Huh? I believe it on tonight. Amen. Jesus is the best thing. I wish I had time to sing that thing. That ever happened to me. Uh, I said, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. I give God praise with you guys on tonight. As I always ask you, can you like and share? We want to reach somebody and get somebody on here tonight that may need 
this word. I said, Lord, this evening, this evening, I was coming home, and, and he didn't give me much this evening but a few words. And I, I just want to tell somebody tonight and encourage you, hallelujah, guess what? That it's all coming together. Yeah, guess what? Because it's working together. I, I said it's all coming together because it's working together. I, I don't know who it's for tonight, and I'm looking at my time clock. I may not be on here very long tonight, but hear me and hear these words now as I begin to say, hallelujah, I begin to feel the power of God. I want somebody to know that it's all coming together uh, in your life right now because it's all working together. Let me give a little precursor here. Amen. It may be negativity that might be coming together. It may be problematic things that may be coming together. But as I was scrolling today, I saw a preacher say that when God gets ready to open a door, that the enemy can also open a false door. Hey, I said when God begins to bless you and open up doors in your life, that the enemy could step up and try to take the place of what God is about to do. So whether that be a negative situation in your life, whether it be a positive thing in your life, I want to tell you tonight that it's coming together. Mm, yeah, because it's working together. I, I, I was going to preach a message one time and tell every one of my problems. Guess what? That you're working for me. Yeah. I was going to preach a message one time and tell every bit of sickness in this land that you're working for me because if God's got it, hey, then it's working for my good. I, I want to read to you tonight. Hallelujah. Romans 8 and 28. Oh my God. I, I don't know if she's watching tonight, but hallelujah. Uh, 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 a friend of mine is her favorite scripture uh, and she reads it on tonight. Listen, Romans 8 and 28, it says, and we know that all things, come on, Mother Hazel. I said, we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Let me stop right there. I said, and we know that all things uh -huh, uh, work together for them, hallelujah, to them that love God. I said, all things work together to them that love God. I, I need some somebody tonight to say it's working for me. I don't have to worry what Travis Green said. I don't have to worry because it's working for me. I don't have to stress because it's working for me. And I know you're sitting there and you're saying, preacher, how is it that you telling me I got 99 problems? Hallelujah. But guess what? They're working for me. I want to let you know tonight that God said it early in the word of God that his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts as high as the heaven is above the earth I want to tell you tonight that it's working for you oh my God I said it's working for you I know we can't see it now nah, but I need somebody tonight to look back over your life and said I can remember a time yeah, when I had to go through something and in that moment I did not get it but when God brought me through I said I need somebody tonight to just have a flashback and say, I did not know it at the time. Yeah, I did not realize it at the time. But when I look back over my life uh, and I begin to think things over, I could see now what God was doing. Oh, yeah, God, that's why you did it this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God, that's why you did it that way. You were working it out for my good. You were working it out when I didn't understand you. You were fixing it when I thought it was broken. You were breaking it when I thought it should be fixed. I didn't understand you now, but when I look back, uh, I can understand and I can see clearly. When I look back, I need somebody to just look back over your life. Uh, I need somebody to just have a flashback moment and say, I did not get it then, Sister Irma, but I get it now. I did not see it then. Hey, but I can see it now. It says, and we know that all things uh, work together uh, for the good of them, yeah, for good to them. Oh, my God. Uh, we always read that and say, for the good of them. No, 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 for good to them. Let me share this with you. Everything in your life, uh, hallelujah, uh, uh, guess what? They say when you was a child, if it, if it tastes good, it might not be good for you. 
Mm, Y'all talk to me. And if it tasted bad, then most of the time it was good or decent vegetables uh, for you. Y'all talk back to me. It says work together for good to them. Uh It may in your life uh, might not look like it was good to you, but it's been good for you. Yeah, You did not understand what you had to go through then. It may have seemed like uh, it was bad for you. Hallelujah. That it wasn't good to you, but it was good for you. I want to let somebody know tonight uh, that even that pain that you might be going through, Ah, even that trouble that you might be in even right now it may not feel good to you uh but the word of the Lord said that it's working together for you Ah, it may not feel the best uh, but guess what it's working out for your betterment Uh, I want somebody to say better yeah I need somebody to say it's for my good Uh, somebody had to go get a shot Uh, it may have hurt for a few days uh, but it was for your good Uh, somebody may have had to take some nasty cough medicine yeah it was nasty going down but it was for your good Uh, you may have had to have a surgery it may have hurt for a few weeks Uh, it hurt you but it was for your good let's get a little bit more personal preacher God separated me from some folk Uh, God took some people out of my life Uh, God moved me from here to there it hurt me yeah but it was for my good is there anybody on this line tonight uh, that won't leave your boy out here by yourself uh, and say pastor I'm with you yeah I've been hurt before but when I came back to myself uh, I've been hurt before but when I got back on my feet uh, I saw that it was for my Hey, I used to hear parents say it like this. Uh, now I got to whoop you, uh, and this is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna. <laughs> I still ain't figured that out. Uh, uh, this is gonna hurt me more than it hurt you. I, I, I realized then now, uh, Hallelujah! Looking back over my life, uh, if it had not been for the discipline, yeah, if it had not been for the maybe not all of them, but if it had not been for the whoopings, uh, if it had not been for the straight and narrow, uh, if it had not been for the Ah, hallelujah getting me in line (laughs) keeping me straight Uh, maybe I wouldn't be where I am right now it hurt me then Y'all talk back to me. Oh, but it's helping me now. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them. Hallelujah. That love God. I said that love God. I I, I got news for you tonight. I I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate you being on here. But the Bible just told me to tell you that it's working together for good to them that love God. So what am I asking you tonight? If you don't love God, get off the page. Hey, if you don't have a love for God, I ain't talking to you. If you don't love God, it ain't going to work together for you. Oh, but I'm looking for somebody tonight uh, that says I love the Lord. I'm looking for somebody tonight uh, that say I don't always get it right preacher Uh, I don't always get it together uh, but there's something down inside of me uh, that when I do wrong God say you need to make it right Uh, there's something on the inside of me uh, that gets a hold of me that say you know you need to go back and apologize Uh, I don't care about your position Uh, I don't care about your authority if you got the Holy Ghost inside if you do somebody wrong it's something that's got to make you do your neighbor right it's something that's got to make you fix it is the love of God Ah, I feel myself going somewhere for them that love God uh, to them who are called according to his purpose Uh, I said called according to his purpose I'm looking for somebody I need somebody tonight that you know you got purpose on your life and one of the main reasons you know you got purpose is because people want you and they want to be you they want to act like you they want to walk like you but I heard Pastor Jamal Brian say it like this. What they don't even realize is that you don't even want this. You didn't even ask for what's on your life. You didn't even ask for this anointing. You didn't even ask for this relationship with God. But there's a purpose on my life. But there's a purpose. Why you think
think I'm tired, but I have to come on here and preach on Wednesday? Why you think I'm tired, but I have to make sure the broadcast goes forth on Sunday? Ah, you want to know why? It ain't because I like being on camera. It ain't because I like hooking up audio and video and, and lighting and sound. It ain't got nothing to do with that. You think I want to be doing this right now? No, I realize that that's a purpose on my life. Whether it be for two people online, whether it be for three people online, there's a purpose on my life. And as long as I fulfill my purpose, as long as I do what God say do, as long as I listen to him, as long as he order my steps and I I take them. Guess what? All things are working together. Ah, for my good ah, in a nutshell what am I telling you tonight if you want it to work out for you get in his purpose ah, if you want it to be fixed for you get in his purpose ah, if you want it to be okay get in God's Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I got to run. I got to run. I, I told First Lady before service tonight, I said, I don't know where I'm going, but I believe I'm on the right track. I want you to turn with me in your Bible to Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. Oh, Jesus. Ezekiel 37. Yeah. And verse number one, I, I'm going to read tonight the Message Bible. Now, now, typically I preach out of the New uh, Living Translation or the King James Version, but something said go to the Message. Bible. Ah, I want to go to the message Bible. Ah, just, hey, Ezekiel 37 and 1. Ah, Ezekiel 37 and 1. Ah, listen to what the Bible said. It said in verse number 1, ah, it said God grabbed me. Yeah. It said God grabbed me. I, I, I need somebody to just grab hold of yourself right now and say God I'm thankful that I remember the day that you grabbed me. Yeah, I wanted to go over the edge but you grabbed me. I wanted to throw in the towel but you grabbed me. I'm so glad that God grabbed me and it said that God's spirit took me up and set me down in the middle of an open place. And all across this plain there were, were, were bones there. Y'all heard me preach it before. And he led me round among them. Uh -huh. There were a lot of bones, this scripture says. Uh, there were bones all over this valley. Yeah. There were bones all over this plain. Uh, and the dry bones were bleached there by the sun. Let me explain something to you. That this thing had been there for a long time. Uh, these bones had been there for a long time. Uh, and God took Ezekiel by the the spirit. Uh, it said God's spirit took me up. Uh, I want to let you know, hallelujah, that you got to have something in you. Uh, you got to have something there that, that God can grab a hold to. It said the spirit took him up uh, and he led him down among them. Listen to this. Uh, I want to ask somebody tonight, uh, aren't you so glad uh, that God didn't just drop you off uh, in the middle of a dead situation? Uh, I said, aren't you glad Hey, that God didn't just leave you uh, surrounded by death and dried up things. Uh, but God said, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to show you something. Uh -huh. I want to ask somebody tonight. Uh, uh, aren't you glad tonight uh, that God showed you uh, what it is that you could have been? Uh, I said, aren't you glad tonight uh, that God took you uh, and he led you around uh, and he gave you an example uh, of what he could. Oh, my my God, aren't you glad tonight that he showed you, oh my God, how bad it could have been, but he never let go of you. He said, I'm just taking you through here to show you something. I'm taking you through here to show you what you could have been. I'm taking you through here to show you if I take my hand off Uh, if I take my hand off of you, uh, if I let go of you now, uh, you'd be just like these dead bones. Uh, you'd be just like these dead corpses. Uh, if I take my thumb off of you, you wouldn't make it. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, they've been there a long time. I said these bones been there a long time. They've been dried up and bleached by the sun. 
Ah, verse number three said, he says, son of man, I want to ask you something. Son of man, I want to ask you something. Can these dry bones live? Hallelujah. Is there anything in you? Is there anything in you that thinks? Hallelujah. When I ask you this, is there anything in you, Ezekiel, that believes I can turn this around? Can these dry bones live? Is there anything in you, Ezekiel, that believes I can fix a day? and dry situation. Is there anything in you, Ezekiel, that believes I can do something about it? Is there anything I said it's going to work together. Hallelujah. It's going to work together. He said, Master God, uh, only you know that. Uh, uh, verse number four says, so he said to me, uh, I got the power. Mm. Listen to this. Prophesy over these bones. Uh, dry bones, listen to the message uh, of God. Uh, I want to let you know tonight uh, that God literally told Ezekiel that I've got the message. Uh, I've got the power, but I need you to use your voice. Uh, I, when I prayed for some of y'all on Sunday, when I laid my hand on your head, uh, I began to see greater works come forth. Uh, when I laid my hand over your head, uh, I began to see greater works uh, come forth and I'm preaching to you tonight uh, and you know who I'm talking to yeah. when I laid hands on you Sunday I know you're sitting there saying I can't do it uh, I can't teach that Sunday school uh, I can't teach that Bible study I can't teach that women's class oh yes you can uh, because these bones can live uh, God can take a dry thing uh, and turn it into a living thing uh, God can take a dead thing uh, and turn it into a master thing. Only you, God, know that. He said, prophesy over these bones. Dry bones, listen to the message of God. Verses 5 and 6 says, God the master told the dry bones, watch this. I, I need somebody tonight to just throw that in the comment section for me. I need somebody tonight to just type, watch this. I, I said, I'm going to wait to see it. Let me drink my blue. Now, I need somebody to type in the comment section, watch this. This is why I read the, the, the message translation. Watch this. What God is about to do, you ain't got to tell your neighbor. You ain't got to tell your haters. You ain't got to give them an interview. All you simply need to say tonight is watch this. Watch what God is about to do. It ain't going to be me. It ain't going to be my brain and my smarts. But this next blessing is about to be God. This next breakthrough is about to be God. This next miracle is about to be God. What's about to happen next in my life? Watch this. What's about to happen next in my story? Watch this. Watch this. I'm bringing the breath of life to you and you will come to life. I have attached sin you to you. I put meat on your bones and I'm going to cover you with skin and breathe life into you. You'll come alive and you'll realize that I am God. Can I tell somebody something tonight? God is about to bless you. God is about to open a door. God is about to make a way in the wilderness. He's about to make a river in the desert. But guess what? He ain't doing it for you. He ain't doing it because of you. He's doing it so that people will realize that he is God. When he bless you, guess what? It ain't just for you to be blessed. It's so that those around you uh, will realize uh, that he uh, is God. Uh, when he heal your body, uh, it ain't because he loves you that much. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, but it's because people uh, need to see that he uh, is God. Uh, when he bring you out of this next storm, uh, it's going to be because people uh, will see that he is God. Listen to this in verse 7 and 8. He said, I prophesied just as he commanded. I'm going to say that again. Just as I'd been commanded. Listen to this. I did it just the same way he told me to do it. I don't know if Bishop Dillard is still on here, but back in the day he used to preach there's a blessing in the instruction. Y'all talk back to me. He said the blessing is in the instruction. I prophesied just as I 
I had been commanded. I didn't put my flesh in there. I didn't put myself in the way. I didn't put my own sauce on it. I didn't put my own two cent on it. I didn't put my own sprinkle and zest on it. I did it just as I had been commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a sound and, and there was a rustling. Oh my God, I want to tell somebody tonight, when you do it like God, say do it. Oh, when you do it like God say do it uh, uh, guess what it's going to happen while you doing it uh, when you do it like God say do it uh, he ain't going to wait till you finish uh, God ain't going to wait till it's done uh, God ain't going to wait till it's over when you do it like God said do it uh, it's going to start happening immediately it's going to start happening while you're talking it's going to start taking place while you're doing it it said as I prophesied there was a sound and there was a rustling and the bones they all begin to move and come together ah oh my god I said they all begin to move and come together what did I tell you at the beginning of this guess what that is coming together because it's all working together yeah I said it's coming together because it's all working together and I doesn't matter tonight how dried up your situation may be it doesn't matter tonight how jacked up your circumstance may be I want to tell you by the breath that I got left uh, that is coming together as I prophesied there was a sound and a rustling and the bones moved uh, and they came together bone to bone I said bone to bone uh, uh, hallelujah I might mess it up uh, uh, but I want you to know uh, that when God brings it together uh, guess what uh, that hip bone ain't gonna get attached uh, to the neck bone no 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 and that, that elbow bone that elbow ain't gonna get attached to the ankle uh, somebody else's leg may have been over there and their arm and torso may have been over there but when God begin to bring it together hallelujah I said when God begin to bring it together I saw the man how it come through the bone it, it got to come all together ah, ain't gonna be no confusion my God, ain't going to be no misunderstanding. Your bone ain't going to connect to my bone and, and my bone ain't going to connect to your bone. But everything is going to come back together. Everything's going to come together in order. Every, why, and God said that things should be done decently. My God, uh, when he brings it back together, it's going to come together right. Uh, doesn't matter how shattered it was. Uh, doesn't matter how broken it's been. Uh, doesn't matter how destroyed that it's been. When God brings it together this time, uh, it's going to come back together. Uh, uh, he said, I kept on watching. Uh, he said, I kept on watching. Listen, can, can somebody type this tonight? Uh, and this one goes out to everybody that believes that, that God ain't about to do what he said he going to do. Uh, this next statement that you're about to type in the comments uh, uh, goes out to, to every every hater, every person that said God is not going to do it, uh, every person that said, uh, I don't know about that and I'm not sure. This one goes out to them. If you're reading the Message Bible, it said that all the bones begin to move and come together bone to bone. But this is the next three words. Uh, I kept watching. Hey, I got to scoot this chair back. I need somebody to say this tonight. Say, keep watching. Don't turn the channel. Don't turn the dial. But I need you to keep on watching because you talked about me long enough. You dogged me out long enough. Hallelujah. You put me down when I was already down. Keep watching. God is not through with me yet. If you think that I'm blessed now, you just keep on watching because I got my bones back what does that mean preacher when I got my bones back I got my structure Yeah. when I got my bones back I got my stability when I got my bones back I got my protection but tell every hater you just keep on watching send you for 
formed uh, and the muscles formed onto the bones. Uh, listen to this. Uh, I said sinew formed uh, and then the muscles, uh, hallelujah, formed over the bones. Uh, God said not only, uh, and somebody hear me tonight, uh, not only am I giving you structure again, uh, not only am I giving you foundation again, uh, not only am I allowing you to stand again, uh, but I'm going to put something over the bones uh, that this time, Oh my God, somebody type in there this time. Uh, this time, I'm going to make sure that it's held together. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that it's held together. Yeah, and he said, I put muscles on the bones. Not only is it enough for you to stand firm, not only is it enough for you to stand balanced and be held together, but God said, I'm not only going to let you stand, oh, but this time, I'm going to give you strength again. I'm I'm going to put muscles on those bones. I need somebody to say this with me tonight. God's going to make me strong again. God's going to give me the strength back. God's going to give me the ability back. I'm stronger now than I've ever been. I got the last one and I got to go. It said, then skin ah, stretched over them. Uh -huh. It said, then skin, we can't go past that. Uh, you heard me preach it before, but I got to tell somebody tonight uh, that God is not getting ready to give you strength. Uh, he's not getting ready to just allow you to be able to stand and hold you together and give you strength. Uh, but guess what? Uh, the Bible said that skin stretched over them. Guess what that means? Hey, everything that he's given you, uh, uh, watch this. He's getting ready to cover you. He's getting ready to give you some protection. He's getting ready to give you a covering. He's getting ready to give you a protection like you've never seen before. Somebody in here tonight, you need fresh skin. And if God anywhere you read in the Bible, when the Bible speaks about skin, the Bible said that you cannot put all old wine, no, 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 new wine in to old wine skin. No, no, no. Why? Because it would burst at the seam. In this scripture, the Bible said that new skin stretched over them. So wherever there's new skin stretching over, then there's new wine. Y'all ain't hearing me. I said wherever there's new skin, then there's new wine. God is about to put inside of this vessel what he said in the word of thing hidden in earthen vessel. He said he's going to put in you uh, a fresh word uh, a fresh wine uh, a fresh anointing uh, a fresh an ability uh, but wait a minute uh, they had no breath in them what I'm going to do uh, what, what you give me all of this uh, hallelujah and, and you give me all of that uh, and you bless me with this uh, and you bless me with that uh, but I ain't got no breath in my body he said to me in verse 9 uh, prophesy to the breath yeah. and say son of man tell the breath the God uh, uh, the master says come from the four winds come breath breathe on these slain bodies breathe breath verse 10 says so I prophesied just as he commanded me the breath entered them and they came alive and they stood to their feet a huge army Listen to this. Hallelujah. What do you do? Hallelujah. When God has given you everything you need, but you're missing one key element. What do you do when God has blessed you with everything you got to have, but you're missing one key thing? I want to tell somebody when we hear of God and when we hear of breath, we have to go back to creation. We have to go back to the beginning. We have to go back to when God created man. Listen to this. What am I telling you tonight? Uh, the reason the scripture is like this uh, is because God is showing us uh, that not only am I going to give you new skin, uh, not only when I bring it together am I going to give you new muscles and, and fresh sinew and fresh bones back to bone. He said, but I'm going to take you back to creation. Uh, I'm going to take you back to inception. Uh, I'm going to take you back to the beginning. Uh, I'm not only going to give you a fresh body. I'm not only going to bring it all together fresh for you but somebody in here you need a breath of fresh air somebody in here you need to start over again somebody in here you need to go back to the beginning 
breathe on me, God. Breathe on me the breath of life. Breathe in my nostrils. Make me a thing again. Make me a vessel again. Start me over again, oh God. Somebody needs to be praying it tonight. Somebody needs to be screaming it tonight. Somebody needs to be saying it to God. Take me back. And start me over, Lord. Take me back and give me a fresh start. God, if you're going to bring it together, if you're bringing things together, I believe you can do it all the way. Listen, God is not slack ah, concerning his promise. I said God is not slack concerning his promise. But he's going to bring it all together. I know it might be negative. I know it might be tragic, it might be ugly, but I want you to know that it's working for you. Ah, I'm done screaming. <laughs> I'm done hollering. I want you to know tonight that it's working for you. The Bible said that they stood on their feet. Ah, listen to that. I got to go back to that. I got to go back to that. He said prophesy to the breath. My God. He said, prophesy to the breath. So I prophesied just as he commanded. The breath entered them and they came alive. Listen to this. And they stood on their feet, a huge army. Listen to this tonight. He never prophesied to them and told them to get up. He never said, get up. He just prophesied breath. He prophesied skin. He prophesied muscle. He prophesied sinew and bone. He prophesied these things, but he never told him to get up. Hey, I need somebody tonight to say, Lord, when you bring it all together, I'm going to stand and give you praise. When you put it all together, I'm going to stand and fight for you. When you put it all together, I can't lay down anymore. When you bring me back, God, I can't stay on my back anymore. But I got to get up. God didn't put this great thing in you. God didn't put this ability in you for you to lay there and take the defeat. For you to lay there where you've been all your life. For you to lay there in defeat. When he bring it together, get up. Somebody needs to get up tonight. I pray that you've been blessed. I pray that this word has shifted you and, 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 and shaken you. Pray my strength in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I had no intention of being able to holler and preach like this tonight. But I believe that there was somebody that needed this word. There was somebody that needed this. Look, I want you to meet me on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock a.m. Right there in the sanctuary. Right there at Rebirth Ministries. We're back in the sanctuary. Come and meet us Sunday morning at 10 o'clock because I got a word for the church. I got a word amen for the body. Hallelujah. We're going to tell the enemy. We're going to tell the devil and most of all we're going to tell our promise. We're going to tell our destinies. We're going to tell our dreams. We're going to tell our victories. Guess what? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Y'all see me Sunday morning. God bless you in Jesus name.